Happy Friday, Raptors. I'm Taylor Todd. I'm Haley Diggs. We have a lot of exciting news this week. Stay tuned, Raptors. Flagitious, shamefully wicked as persons, actions, or times. Example, as a sheriff, it's up to you to bring the flagitious outlaws to justice. Everyone had a fun fall break. With school starting in the new nine weeks, we are in full swing. We do have a lot of fun activities to look forward to. To start off, we have Jackson Leffler, Matthew Smith, Lane Burke, and Jeffrey Knapp with a new segment of Step It Up. Ravenwood, this is the third time we've stepped it up. That means we're on the third step to greatness. We've still got a long way to go. Step. All right, Ravenwood, today we have dress code. Dress code has been a big deal this year. For all the rules and regulations on your dress code, do's and don'ts, you can go to page 30 in your planner. Just be sure that your skirts and shirts aren't too short, like this right here. This, this is just unacceptable. Please don't do this. Ravenwood, if you come late and you bring a note, Bring it to student services and then pick up a new note to go to class. And when you get that note, please be sure to bring it to class and give it to your teachers so they know where you've been. Jackson, you're late again. I forgot my note. Step it up, Ravenwood. Step it up, Ravenwood. Step it up, Ravenwood. Thanks, guys. Broadcasting 3 students enjoyed the past two weeks focusing on fun new packages for the newscast. Enjoy this video made by Chris Barker, Jack Todd, and Ashley Chapman. Hey, this is Chris Barker, and I'm going around RHS, and we're going to see how smart Ravenwood really is. What is the capital of Chicago? What is what? What is the capital of Chicago? I don't know. Don't Bruh. Know. Real quick. Uh, what is the capital of Chicago? Illinois. Illinois? What is the capital of Chicago? What? <laughs> what is the capital of Chicago? It doesn't, it's, Illinois is a state, so I'm not sure which is. Chicago is a city. What is the capital of Chicago? Illinois. All right. <laughs> How do you spell receive? R-E-C-I-V-E. 
just real quick. Uh, how do you spell receive? R E C I E V E. What about you? Ooh, I don't know. I can't spell. So I'm going to pass. Uh, how do you spell receive? R E C E I V E. One, two, three, and to the folks. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the dope. Ready to make it. So it's R E C I E V E? Bruh. And general rule is I before E except after C, right? Yes. So how do you spell receive? R E C E I V E. All right. All right. What colors make blue? Uh, purple and uh, green. Bruh. Green and yellow. Bruh. All right. Uh, what colors make blue? I don't know. Right. Bruh. Have a good day. All right. All right. And what colors make blue? Blue is a primary color. All right, all right. What colors, what colors make blue? Yellow and green. All right. What continent is Europe in? What continent is Europe in? Yeah. Uh, Two hours later. I'm not sure. Right. Do you know anything? Wait. Europe is on Asia. Bruh. You walk into one story house and the wall is pink, the door is pink, the ceiling is pink, and the door is pink. I think I already said that one. Uh, what color are the stairs? Pink. You walk into one story house, mm -hmm. the wall is pink. The wall is pink. Yep. The door is pink. The door is pink. The kitchen is pink. The kitchen is pink. The ceiling is pink. The ceiling is pink. What colors are the stairs? It's a one story house, man. Right. Thanks, guys. Last week, football had a home victory against Lebanon with a final score of 49-3. Up next, we have Perts and Parks Perspective. I'm Austin Pert. And I'm Jack Parks. And this is Pert's. And Parks. Perspective. All right, on the last episode, we had the bets on the McGavick game, and I won. I bet 28-7. The score was 30-12, so Pert gets ice water on him in a minute. And we skipped a week of the newscast, so you guys missed the Lebanon game on our show, I guess. And then that score was 49-3, right? Yeah. Correct. And so now we're going to bet on the Overton game. I'm putting up 17 to 7. And what are you going? I'm going 20 to 13, Ravenwood. All right. Here is Perrett doing 30 push ups. Yeah. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Diez. Bainty uno, bainty dos, bainty trace, bainty quattro, bainty cinco, bainty seis, bainty siete, bainty ocho, bainty nueve, treinta. That was Pert doing 30 push-ups in Spanish. So we're out here on a fine morning. It's a little chilly out, and Pert's about to get this bucket of ice water on his head. So here we go. How do you feel? Um, super. We're here with the starting wide receiver for our football team, Nathan Freeman, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the game plan for the Powder Puff game Monday. Uh, you know, we uh, play the juniors this Monday, and um, 
we're ready to play last year losing but this year the juniors this year's need to bring it because we're gonna we're gonna grind it out every down you better you better bring some pads because we're gonna hit you pretty hard you better be scared that was austin pert and that was jack parks and this is pert and parks perspective, perspective. ring 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 <laughs> hello hey Haley. yeah do you know what november 8th is no what is it it's voting day don't forget to vote that's right guys, your voice, your vote, November 8th is election day. This is Jace Walter with RHST, you're in here with uh, Dr. Mason, so how'd you get this whole process set up? Yeah man, we're gonna start doing this uh, probably maybe twice a month. Um, you know, we just wanna showcase the talents of our students here. Uh, we had sign-ups. I had a poster out for in the cafeteria, anybody who wants to sign up. And it's not just for singers. Uh, I mean, if you want to do spoken word, poetry, or a skit, or anything like that, it doesn't have to be just singing. But right now, we only have singers and rappers signed up to do it. But, you know, and if, there can be more people that, if they want to sign up, they can participate, and they just don't have to sing. They can do, tell jokes, as long as it's clean. You know what I mean? So whatever you want to do as far as talent goes, you can, you can do it on mic'd up. Thursdays and Fridays, just depends. Could be on Thursday, could be on a Friday. Yeah, I'm here with uh, Abby Little, and she uh, she just sang in front of the whole school. Um, how does that feel? It was fun. You did you did great out there. Um, who, what song are you singing? Um, Say my name and cry me a river by the neighborhood. It was like a cover. As you all know, homecoming is next week. With that comes a lot of fun activities. Each day there will be a new theme to dress up in. Broadcasting 3 students, Morgan and Ashley will tell you what it's all about. the information. Not only do we have dress up days, but there are a lot of fun events that happen during the week leading up to Friday. Enjoy this video on what will go on next week, made by Broadcasting 3 students Jackson, Monica, Lane, and Jeffrey. My name is Jeff Knapp. I'm Lane Burke, and, and this is Homecoming Home. Week. Monday is the Powder Puff game, as well as Pajama Day. Tuesday, there are no homecoming activities, except for Salad Dressing Day. Wednesday is Practice ACT Day and Senior Day of Service, as well as Wizarding Day. Thursday is just a regular school day, as well as Superhero Day. Friday, there will be a parade in the morning, as well as a pep rally at the end of the day. Friday is also Spirit Day, and there's a game against Winston Central at 7, so be there. On Monday, it will be normal schedule until 6th period, and the Powder Puff game begins at 1.10. On Wednesday, it will be PSAT and Practice ACD Day and Great Day of Service for seniors. Friday will be powder for the parade from 10 to 10 to 11.30, and the pep rally begins at 1.20. Tuesday and Thursday are regular days. Thanks, guys. Homecoming is a very fun week at school, so make sure to participate each day. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of RHS TV. I'm Taylor Todd. And I'm Haley Diggs. Have a great weekend, Raptors. We'll see you again next week.